What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. Today, I'm testing something that a lot of people don't really think about smartphone storage speed. I've got everything from the old EMMC, or Embedded Multimedia Card, like EMMC 4.5 and EMMC 5.1, which are still being used in some low-end devices and smartwatches as of today. And this is my Galaxy Watch 4 based on Android Wear OS. This is 5.1. To the faster universal flash storage types like UFS 2.2, UFS 3.1, and the latest and fastest UFS 4.0. But how much faster is the newer storage compared to the old ones? And does it really make a difference in daily use and performance? Well, let's find out. For this test, I'm using a tool called CPDT Benchmark. It's designed to measure and compare the performance of storage devices across different operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Android. All right, let's run the test and check out the actual read and write speeds. Well, UFS 4.0 finished first on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's incredibly fast. And right after that, UFS 3.1 is done as well on the Galaxy S21. Now UFS 2.2 has also completed, but you can already notice the difference in speeds compared to the newer UFS versions. But EMMC 5.1 and 4.5, yeah, they're still struggling with the writing process. It's kind of like comparing an old HDD to an SSD on a PC, the difference is huge. Let's fast forward this and see. All right, now starting with EMMC 4.5. So as you guys can see, the write speed is around 28 megabytes per second, while the read speed hits about 115 megabytes per second. And the overall memory copy speed, roughly 1.1 gigabytes per second. That's actually pretty decent for low power devices like this. EMMC 4.5 may be old, but for basic tasks, it still gets the job done. Next up, EMMC 5.1. The write speed comes in at around 73 megabytes per second, while the read speed is much better at 280 megabytes per second. But as of today, these speeds are pretty slow compared to modern UFS type devices. Still, it's still used in some entry-level, low-budget smartphones. So, the next big up. UFS 2.2, a big jump from EMMC offering much more stable, efficient performance and higher data transfer speeds. With a write speed of 334 megabytes per second and a read speed of 390 megabytes per second, it's a huge improvement. No surprise that it's the most commonly used storage in the mid-range to budget smartphones today. Now on to UFS 3.1. This storage is mostly found in flagship smartphones and delivers incredible speeds with double the data transfer rate compared to UFS 2.2. But the write speed, it's around 331 megabytes per second, almost the same as UFS 2.2. Could be my device issue, maybe due to caching or system optimizations. Anyways, on the bright side, the read speed is pretty solid at 1.3 gigabyte per second. And the memory copy speed hits about 10.2 gigabyte per second. And finally, the fastest one yet, UFS 4.0. With a write speed of almost one gigabyte per second, read speeds hitting 2.1 gigabyte per second, and a crazy fast memory copy speed of 17 gigabyte per second. You can see the average speeds right here. UFS 4.0 is basically twice as fast as UFS 3.1, which means apps open quicker, file transfers are way faster, speed and load times, gaming, and everything just feels way smoother. Now let's run another test. And here the source data value is set to 2G. Same as before, we almost got similar results on all these storage types. All right, so what's the takeaway? Faster storage really does make a difference. Each generation pretty much doubles the speed, making app installs, file transfers, and overall performance way smoother. Nowadays, even most budget phones come with UFS 2 version, which is a big step up. 
but it's still not as fast as flagship storage. If you're into gaming or heavy multitasking, I'd recommend going for at least UFS 3.1 or higher. But if you're just a casual user, UFS 2.2 is still a solid option. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.